six fish of the first day. Uh, second 40 of the morning. This one's 41 pound 10. Absolutely shoved to bits. Absolute cracking venue. Can't believe it. ISIV 13 foots. Coping great. Lovely action to play the fish on and being able to reach them as well. Not catching them at maximum ranges, but still a good cast. Got a big strong side wind. Got loads of rain. I know you've got loads and loads of rosatone and you've had all sorts over the years but uh, myself it's always a big dilemma when I go to a new water what rod I'm going to use. I'm always asking how what can get away with, you know, just how far we cast everything else. And I know from talking to you a couple of years now you just use the same rods everywhere or so it seems. I do, I do. It's the uh, first choice every time I come. Uh, I do a lot of French fishing, I visit a lot of new venues every year and you never ever really know sure of what, what, what conditions you're going to have to combat. Whether you need to cast at range, whether it's going to be under the rod tip. Um, there's always limited space when you're travelling to France. Mm. And you can't bring six, eight, ten rods. As I always try to do. <laughs> yeah, as you always try to do. But so, the, you know, the obvious thing is, is to try and find a, a rod that will that'll cut with most of the conditions. And the 13 foot IS is the one that I've, I've stuck to over the last couple of years, as you know. Yeah, I bought the same along on this trip and uh, I was only talking yesterday that I, it, they just do everything. I mean, I'm only mm. fishing at 80 metres and they're just, they're not over powerful or anything. Mm. And the fights from some of these fish, I'm not once worried about hook pulls. No, no. They bend right through as, as you'll see on the film that we did earlier, playing some of the fish. They lock up in the boat so you don't lose control of the things, but they're still so soft at the top. But it's you're just you're everywhere. just not concerned about your hook holes no. and, and pulling hooks, no. not at all. Yet at one time you talk about thirteen foot three and a half pound rods, and there was all beasts. Mm. But, but they were fat. They were fast taper rods yeah. with a little tiny yeah. bit of tip action. I mean the typical high mm. S action, mm. relatively stiff in the butt, but will go if you if you really wind it up. But the top's soft. They're made to keep the hooks in. Mm. In the situation we we used to get at Grenville, where they had the three ounce lead rule. It's a long range rod that you can still wind up with a three ounce lead. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of the casting Definitely. rods out there, they just, you can't get them working. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean in a few years ago, I could not have believed that I would be putting hook baits in excess of 160, almost 170 yards. Mm. With 15 pound line and with, three ounce lead. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, ju it just seems ridiculous when, when I think of the effort that I've put into casting in the past and mm. the practice that I've put in, and the rod has made such a difference. Yeah. yeah. We're discussing common carp, and I said that I'd like a 39 to beat my PB. And this one is 48 pounds, four ounces. Ooh, what a magnificent And it's thing. absolutely mint, it's a belter. And it was caught over a bed of chilli chocolate and magnum whites and it was a wafter and a long hook link which was half a magnum white pop-up and half a chilli chocolate bottom bait and it's an absolute cracker <laughs> and people ask why do you do this <laughs> yeah it's amazing been using a normal silty water approach just washed out boilers well, not washed out, I shouldn't have said that. Um, a pre-soaking base, I'm filling them up with liquid so they can't take the silk smell on. Uh, catch on the Quest Baits Magnum White and the Magnum Duo, the two colours in, in the same bait. And also equal amounts of Gurkha Sparse mixed in. A few mats from action pellets, microfeed, little bits and bobs just keep the fish in the area. But it, it's worked from day one. I mean, the opening day was incredible. Uh, opening morning, um, I had a I had two 40s, a 39.12, a 34, I'm trying to think now. Uh, I had a big double as well, I've just had one double. Everything else has been over £34. It's uh, just an incredible stamp of fish. Interesting one that I, I couldn't find any, any clean areas, any firm areas at all to start with. Ron did next door to me, but uh, I was struggling, so I'd, as I've said, I've just made my own. 
just kept the bait going in, the carp will come in, they're taking the bait, they're taking the silt and sifting it at the same time. And now from being real slop, I'd gone out in the boat and had a prod about and it, it just felt like blancmange. It was, it was really sloppy, really soft on the bottom. But I just fished into it. Now I'm even feeling the legs cr uh, crunching down, so uh, it's a method well worth thinking about. You don't always need to find the firm areas, you can always make your own. Big, big fish. Now I'm swinging to the bank. But it's still, it's 100 plus yard away still. My knots are a long, long way out there. Thanks. Well, what a week this has been. Uh, right on the last day, just about packed up now. Ron, he's had a 48.4 common, a PB, and I've just had my first 50 pound common, 50 pound eight ounce. So, so pleased, both chuffed to bits. Caught 50 pound mirrors before, never had a 50 pound common. Let's have a look at it. Well, fifty pound eight, absolutely gorgeous common. So so happy, so pleased with this. Whenever, when you're ready. <laughs> what a beauty. Get her back. Thank you, Carl. Yes. <laughs>